Hi everybody, this is Dave Vellante, and I'm with Wikibon.org. I'm here with Stu Miniman, also of Wikibon. And this is SiliconAngle.tv's continuous coverage. We're here live in Boston at the Dell Storage Forum 12. We were here uh, last year, actually we were in Orlando at the Dell Storage Forum. Last year was Dell's first breakout event within storage. In the last five years, we've seen a major transformation of Dell. It used to be that Dell was essentially a, a reseller of other technologies, other storage technologies, including EMC and LSI, L uh, and Dell has completely transformed its portfolio, making major acquisitions, not the least of which were Equalogic and Compellent and Exanet, more recently AppAssure. Of course, as you, many of you know, Dell got into the services business in a big way with a giant acquisition of Perot Systems, and it's completely transforming the company at the direction of Michael Dell, its chairman and CEO. And Stu, we're here live uh, all week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We've got a great lineup of guests. We were just in the channel uh, keynote. And of course, Dell, like many of the other storage players, is reaching out to the channel. Yeah. In, in what I've called a big channel land grab. Yeah, yeah, Dave, absolutely. Uh, ch channel's critically important for, uh, especially in the markets where Dell plays. They start from really kind of the SMB market up to the mid range and into the enterprise. Um, not, not usually the high end enterprise, but in a lot of these environments, you know. Channel is critical. Um, at the opening keynote, they said they had over 340 channel partners here, which is over double what they had last year. So good push by Dell. Definitely want to dig into that a little bit more in our coverage. And Dell executives really were very aggressive, in my opinion, Stu, of talking about going after EMC Clarion. Now, of course, as you know, Dell has an enormous base of EMC, install base of EMC Clarion, one of the most famous you know, reseller slash OEM relationships in the history of the storage business, a multi-billion dollar uh, deal that Dell is now transforming into its own IP, bringing in equal logic and compellent systems. So essentially, have cut off EMC and gone directly after the customer base through its channel, through its own channel, and through its reseller channel. Very aggressive messaging around deal registration end to end, bringing in server and networking and storage together. Um, Dell is a major player in storage. Stu, why is rel Dell relevant, in your opinion, in storage? Yeah, so, so Dave, you hit on a piece. The kind of the end-to-end -end message is Dell's one of the few players that has the server, the storage, the network, strong services play through the Perot acquisition, and, and software. We're going to talk a lot about software. Dell's made a ton of acquisitions in the last four years. Um, really a transformation of, of Dell's position in the marketplace uh, and kind of reemergence as, you know, not just bringing it all to you, but, you know, actually making a lot of that, or at least bringing all the pieces together, and uh, they've got a lot of engineers in a lot of different places, so creating its own intellectual property. Dell has an enormous supply chain, uh, of course, because of its massive PC business. Dell also seems to be focused on integrating its piece parts, Stu. I've noticed that Dell puts a greater emphasis, in my opinion, on integrating its acquisitions than some of the other competitors, but the, the big thing in my <laughs> mind that Dell has is cash. Yeah. Dell has $14 billion in cash on the balance sheet. Just to give you a comparison, EMC has $6 billion in the balance sheet, NetApp has $5 billion. Uh, <laughs> so when you, HP, HP I believe has about uh, $8 billion on the balance sheet, even the massive IBM $12 billion. So Dell has more cash than all of its other storage competitors, with the only exception being Oracle. I don't really consider necessarily Oracle a storage company, but it's certainly Oracle is a storage competitor. Oracle has $30 billion in cash, but Dell has more cash and the ability to do acquisitions, more so than any of these other companies. I tweeted today, had Dell wanted the three-part deal, it could have gotten it. Yeah, it now, has the cash to do Dave, it. Dave, that, that, that's a really great point, and actually surprised me because while we're at a storage conference, remember Dell's much more than a storage co a storage company. They've got lots of servers, they've got lots of PCs, that's thrown off a ton of cash, which they can now help themselves to transform the company. So Dell picked up Compellent for about half the price that it got three par, we could have got had three par for, and, and in my, my opinion, it's a better fit because it's you know targeted toward Dell's main base, although some tweets that we got around networking, we're suggesting that Dell is really 
let me add, Dell is, we, we talked to Darren Thomas last year at the Dell Storage Forum, and we asked him why is Dell different? What is Dell's vision? And he said, very simply, Dell wants to be number, the number one storage supplier in small and medium-sized business. Dell is the only company that would make that statement as their primary mission. Yeah. Now, some of the tweets that we saw today were suggesting that Dell's networking goes to the higher end you know, a little breaking out of that SMB. Yeah. What's your take yeah, on sure. that? Yeah, so, so Dave, absolutely. You know, when we were at HP last week, you know, HP with three pars trying to take on the traditional tier one storage players, and Dell's more, you know, kind of the small to mid-range. Uh, definitely, SMB varies by who you talk to. IBM has their pure systems, starts at 120,000, which I sure don't consider SMB, but that's how IBM's positioning it. Dell is is definitely better positioned for SMB. If you look at the Power Vault, uh, Power Connect on the networking side, Dell has a campus and lower end offering than some of the other big wells like the IBM or HPs. Uh, but definitely some, some challenges when you're trying to range from the, the real small SMB up to the, the mid markets where there's a lot out there. So we're here in Boston for the next three days, Stu. It's a big week for theCUBE. We, you and I are here at the Dell Storage Forum. Uh, we've got uh, the Intel forecast show down at Cloud Expo. And we also have the Hadoop Summit in San Jose. So. Uh, our, our colleague John Furrier will be handling those two events. Uh, we've got a number of folks you know, on the ground at both of those, as well as here. We'll be covering this wall to wall, bringing you all the guests. This is theCUBE, where we bring you the best guests that we can find. We extract the signal from the noise and bring it to you, our audience. This is SiliconAngle.tv. Stu, final words before we get started? Yeah, just we're going to be broadcasting 10 to 2, Monday through Wednesday. We're going to be watching some of these other shows that are out there. Uh, we've got Scott Lowe down at Microsoft Tech Ed. Uh, Cisco Live's going on this week for all the networking folks. We're going to have some good coverage of some of those pieces and uh, exciting week in tech and uh, excited to be part of it. So as you're watching, you can tweet me. I'm at D Vellante. He's at Stu. Tweet us questions, comments, and uh, keep it right there. We'll be right back. SiliconAngle.tv's live coverage, wall-to-wall, -wall of the Dell Storage Forum 2012. Keep it right there.